hello in this tutorial we will try to model that shape it is a pool and it came from a subscriber it's a request we'll use splines nerves and subdivision surface so let's start so first thing let's go to the top view and press shift and v go to back section and select the image and i will increase my transparency something like that and i will select sketch and i will just simply draw So we get our spline, then I will select spline smooth and decrease the strength, strength to 25 and smooth those points. Now we can move those points press E and I will try to mesh the shape okay now I will add some additional cuts to here because we will use them later so I will right click and line cuts then i will select that one actually we will do this later so leave them like that Okay, let's rename our spline profile one and I will duplicate that by pressing Ctrl and move and I will press shift and move my new spline this is gonna snap the position So now I will duplicate my latest spline and rename P2. But this time I will move that point, something like that, also this one. But I want to change the position. I will duplicate that one more time but I will move the position of the spline press shift and move one more one time so I will do the same things again I will duplicate that name it to P3 and Move those points to mesh the shape. Now I will duplicate my P3 spline and Press shift to move 10 centimeters. So let's duplicate that latest spline and rename that P4. And 
let's change those points. Okay, let's duplicate that and rename again. But let's move that on the y axis by pressing Shift. And this is going to be the last one. Let's duplicate that, rename that P5, and change and move the points. Okay, let's duplicate that too. Rename the P5 and we are good to go. No. I will add a load object and put all my splines into that load. I will go to the load, go to caps and set them to none. Now, I will decrease my e subdivisions and turn off subdivision per segment. And I will also check on that organic form. This is going to make space between the edges be more equal. So this is going to make that more uniform. But I think we forget, forget to move that latest spline. So let's move them by pressing shift. Okay. Now I will select my loft, press alt and select connect. So I will use that connect ob object to that these points that are very close. So I will increase my threshold like that. And we will fix some points by hand. So let's make that connect object editable by pressing C. I will switch to points mode and select those two. Right click and belt. And slides and move that a little bit here. Also here, let's select them too. So let's weld these two points too. Okay, it's pretty good. And let's try to close that gap. Select double click on these edges. Right click and extrude. If your extrusion is like that, Press shift and drag your mouse left or right. Now I will right click, select close polygon hole and click the empty area. Now I will switch to line cuts and I will make, I will connect those points. So 
so we need to connect that too but this is going to make a triangle so i will select this one and dissolve and start to make a new path from here and i will make a new cut here so now we have all quads now let's select all the polygons right click and extrude but turn on the caps something like that select all and let's flip the normals now i just simply add loop cuts right click and loop cuts So now we have some triangles. It's not much important since we have flat surface, but just let's fix that. Go to line cut and make a new path. Now switch point mode, right click and slide. Okay, now let's add that object to subdivision surface. Press Alt and click here. So I think we are done. We get a really smooth surface. And it was really fast. So thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.